Hey Sumalings and Hapsumal Fanatics! Black Friday is here and to celebrate we are helping you get an extra 10% off at AppSumo. Welcome to the Tech of the Future podcast by Podcast Launch Agency hosted by Chris Kounin. In this limited series podcast, you'll meet the founders of Chopcast, Resound, SEO Crawl and more. Discover how to use these tools to grow your business or launch your podcast. Find out about the founders' vision, their favorite features and listen out for special prizes that you can win. The first thing that comes into the picture is uploading a video. There are a lot of different ways that you can upload a video on Gumlet, all the way from like uploading them from your system, to using APIs to automate upload, or using different uh, cloud storages to uh, uh, upload your videos. For now, just for the sake of the demo, I'm just going to pick a video from my system. You can see it barely takes a few minutes for the video to kind of, you know, get added to the queue. And yeah, for the sake of the demo, I'm going to move to an existing video that we've already uplo uploaded and is ready to go. This over here is exactly what a video player is going to look like when you embed them, embed it on your website. So this is one place where you know exactly what look for, what you're going to get, what is going to look like on your uh, website or your app. Right below the video, uh, this is a video details page, by the way, and right below the video, you get the basic uh, analytics like the views and the watch times. You also get description and tags, which helps you manage your videos better. There are metadata and other data over here for you to add SEO information, which is also very necessary. Over here, you have a bunch of options that lets you very quickly tinker with the different, different features that you need to make sure you have uh, with your video. The most important one is publishing. So if you just, there are three basic uh, ways you can publish the video. You have an embed code, you can embed them in email, and there are also URLs. To very quickly go into each one of them, there are a lot of different settings that you can just basically toggle on and off to make sure that you get your uh, embed code just the right way. You can add uh, your vast uh, tag URLs, your Facebook and GA pixels. Similarly for uh, email and as well as for URL uh, and for URL. For URLs, you get like a share URL, a thumbnail URL, a thumbnail URL and like the main, you know, MPD URL that you can use across websites and uh, applications. There yeah, uh, I'll just uh, double tap on that. Uh, why about just, uh, could you open the publishing options? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. So embed code is like you get the player and analytics, everything. So yeah, just paste this anywhere and it would run smoothly in app and any language, anything. It just works that way. The Facebook and Google Pixel is to capture the audience you want to use for remarketing. You want to identify who watched your video and that. And the last tag is, let's say you have a big enough audience and you want to run ads on your video, much like having your new, your own YouTube. That's where that would help. And the last part, the URL, URLs part, yes. So here, the shared URL will open an entire video page. So let's say you are using this for sales or, or you know, this is just a quick demo you want to send to someone. Uh, it will open a share video page, which you can pass or protect. We are going to cover that. But uh, yeah, it, it's it's like, and we have a similar page for a channel as well. And the last bit, MPEG dash URL is an HLS URL, which is a standard streaming format, which lets you automatically switch to different video resolutions you know what YouTube, Netflix, everyone does. And that URL you can embed into your own player. So it's not necessary to only use Gumlet player. You can have your own video player. Case being some LMS only allow you to, you know, add that uh, video URL. So this is that video URL that would work here. We have another options of generating MP4. Let's say, you know, some legacy LMS like, maybe uh, I guess Moodle or something like that uh, they don't support HLS videos in those cases there will and you have selected an option to generate mp4 there will be an option here which is mp4 URL you can put that mp4 URL and your video will play uh, Dinesh thanks for thanks for that and feel free to interrupt again if I miss anything moving on you can obviously add your thumbnails you can either pick a thumbnail from the video or you can add a custom thumbnail of your own you can add subtitles in multiple languages and you can have multiple subtitles over there as well. There is also an option to kind of uh, uh, generate subtitles if you want to. You can add video chapters, which again is a very important feature if uh, specifically for uh, course creators. You can add uh, call to action buttons in then de define when the buttons kind of come up, pop up, what kind of background and color you want. Add links, etc, etc. Open in different tab and all of that. So you can have call to actions, then you can also download the video as it uh, right uh, 
from the CMS platform itself. And next, I'm going to go to the video privacy bit. So Gumlet allows you to have like a multi-layer video privacy uh, enabled for all of your videos. To start with, the most basic one is password protection, which you can essentially toggle on and off uh, very simply from uh, your uh, video details page. Next up, I'm going to cover a couple of other features, signed URLs and allowed refers. Signed URLs is uh, essentially creates like time-bound URLs, which you can embed in your uh, apps or websites, which make sure that only when people kind of log in to your system, the videos work. And then those URLs expire after a certain amount of time or once a person kind of logs out. Allowed refer uh, restricts, uh, domain is like is basically domain restriction, which makes sure that uh, the whitelisted domains that you add are the only domains which allow your videos to be played and your videos don't play anywhere else. The third one is DRM. DRM right now is pretty much the gold standard of video protection, which is used by the likes of Netflix and other OTT platforms. It is uh, one of the easiest, most powerful ways to protect your videos from piracy. And uh, DRM is something that Gumlet offers out of the box as well. Yeah, and uh, uh, DRM is a feature that is included in our AppSumo plan on mm -hmm. the DFI. That's a feature why most Sumerling go all the way to top tier. Uh, yeah. That they encrypt your video. So let's say even someone downloads your video or someone is trying to use a browser plugin to record your video, it won't work. The video will come up as a black screen. Much like, you can try this. I mean, go to Netflix, try to take a screenshot, it will come up black. Same level of security, your video will get now, a common question arises that, hey, all of Netflix specials are pirated. But, you know, cyber security is a cat and mouse game. And uh, for to pirate DRM videos, you need special hardware or you need... So, there are special hardware crack where they use uh, HDMI port to record the video stream and things like that. It's just so hard that it's almost not worth it in most of the time so let's say you are running a you know coaching uh, coaching business in let's say executive coaching business you are training them how to be you know better marketers or something like that it's very unlikely that you know a computer who is trying to steal your content or a youtube bot channel that trying to steal your content has the level of technology to crack the rm so moving on from video uh, privacy i'm going to run you through a bunch of clear settings that you can uh enable and disable with a lot of ease uh, right from the dashboard you can set things like uh, enable or disable things like preload videos or autoplay videos include su metadata and loop your videos there are advanced settings which let you disable or enable seek bars and player controls and also add dynamic watermarks which is by the way another video security measure that we have so these things are very necessary when you have like different use cases depending on where you want your video to play so if you want your video to kind of play in the background of your website and you don't want anyone to like forward or back, like forward your video or pause or, you know, disable your video or even for e-commerce, these are like great options for you to make sure that the player is super versatile and you can use it exactly where you need it and in the way you want to use, uh, use it. Uh, branding and customization is, big, uh, is a big part of owning your videos. So we have that right from the dashboard as well. You can add your logo. You can decide where your logo goes, the size of the logo and the player color uh, that matches with your brand colors to make sure that the video player and the whole video experience is aligned with the design language that you have on your uh, on your website. There's also advertising and monetization options like Facebook pixels and, and vast tags and analytics ID, which I think Divish has already covered. So cool. I'll move on to the next bit. The next bit is uh, now that you have kind of, you know how to host your videos, and how to manage the videos on the Gumlet platform. You can also secure and protect your videos. The next bit is to analyze and see like, you know, where the traffic is coming from. And we have like in-depth video analytics uh, right, built in right into the platform. As Gumlet, as the Divage mentioned, if you use the, the Gumlet video player, then uh, all of these metrics are tracked by default and you can very simply just like view them from the dashboard. And if you're using some other player, then we have SDKs and other documentation in place to make sure that you can... Uh, or pull the correct data and have them on the dashboard as well. So all the all the things from like video views, unique viewers, concurrent viewers, and also have custom dashboards if you need to have like specific uh, data that you want to track. All of those things you can track. Engagement metrics are uh, tracked, latency metrics are tracked, like if there are any seek latency issues or if there are buffering uh, issues or instances. Those are things that you can track from the dashboard as well. There are usage analytics that you can track as well. So outside of the video of the user analytics, how your video, the entire video pipeline is performing, 
in terms of this uh, streaming that you're doing, the transcoding that is getting into the play or the storage that you're using, all of this information is right uh, is available from the dashboard as well. So these are all the things that you can do very easily from the Gunrate dashboard. The CMS is super easy to use as well. You can uh, create multiple video collections. Every collection has multiple folders. You can set uh, preset settings on collection level and you can have video profiles that are very easy to create, which kind of make sure that you preset the ex exactly the kind of settings that you want on different, different collections. So all of your videos look the same, the player looks the same, and the analytics and everything is covered uh, just right. Thanks for listening. Because it's Black Friday, we want to help you never pay full price again. Get an extra 10% off on top of your Black Friday savings by signing up for AppSumo Plus. Get all the links to the featured deals and sign up to AppSumo Plus by visiting podcastlaunchagency.com forward slash Black Friday.